Good morning students. How are you all? I welcome you today to another session of maths grade 3. We are going to continue with chapter number 2 that is number work. Which part? Part 5. We have finished part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4 and today we are going to do chapter number 2 number work part 5. What is our topic? For today, our topic for today is ascending and descending order. What is our topic for today? Our topic for today is ascending and descending order. Now what is ascending order? Numbers are said to be in ascending order when they are arranged from the smallest to the largest number. What is ascending order? Numbers are said to be in ascending order when they are arranged from the smallest to the largest number. When we arrange or count the numbers from smallest to largest, they are said to be in ascending order. When we arrange or count the numbers from smallest to the largest, they are said to be in ascending order. For example, when we count the numbers from 1 to 10, when we count the numbers from 1 to 10, we put them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They are in ascending order because we have started from smallest number to biggest number. Okay, 1 is the smallest number and we started from 1 and we finished it at 10. So, from smallest we started. Okay. How do we use ascending order? You know, ascending order can be used in mathematics in multiple ways. But there are three important rules to use ascending order in multiple ways. How do we use ascending order? Ascending order can be used in mathematics in multiple ways. But there are three important rules to use ascending order in multiple ways. Let us see what are the rules. Always begin with the smallest number. Rule number one. Always begin with the smallest number. In ascending order, you are going to always start with the smallest number. Okay. Always begin with the smallest number. You have to search which is the smallest number. And you have to start with the smallest number. Rule number two. Always make sure the numbers are in order from smallest to to largest. You have to always make sure that the number you have written in ascending order should be in order from smallest to largest. That means from big to, from small to big, from small to big. Rule number three, always end with the largest number. Okay. Rule number three, always end with the largest number. How you are going to end? You are going to end with the largest number. How you are going to begin? You are going to begin with the smallest number. So always begin with smallest number and always end with the largest number. Okay. Now in order to decide the ascending order of any digit numbers, first find the smallest number. What you will first find in order to decide the ascending order. Now if you want to write the ascending order, how you are going to write? You are going to decide first. You are going to find the smallest number. Then find the biggest number. Then you are going to find the biggest number. Which is the biggest number? Then the remaining number is a middle number. Okay. First you are going to write the smallest number. Then you are going to write the yes middle number. And then you are going to write the biggest number. But first you are going to find the smallest number. First you find the smallest number. Then you find the biggest number. And the remaining number which you get is your middle number. Now these are the marks that Sonu, Tony, Sonu, Salma and Nandu got in maths. These are the marks that Tony, Sonu, Salma and Nandu got in maths. Let us see what marks they got in maths. Tony, 70. Salma 87, Sonu 79, Nandu 85. How much marks Tony got? 70. Salma 87, Sonu 79, Nandu 
85. Write their marks in ascending order. Now Tony got 70, Selma got 87, Sonu got 79 and Nandu got 85. Let us write their marks in the ascending order. Okay, let us see how we are going to write the marks in ascending order. Now in ascending order, how we are going to start? You are going to begin with the smallest number. So, which is the smallest number? Yes, smallest number is 70. Which is our smallest number? Smallest number is 70. Then you are going to find the biggest number. Which is the biggest number? Number 87. 87 is the biggest number. Now we are having two remaining numbers that is 79 and 85. Now the smaller of this two number. There are two numbers. How you are going to put the middle number now? How you are going to do it? So what you will do is the smaller of this two number you are going to find. So which is the smaller of this two number? That is 79. Which is the smaller of this two number? That is 79. So the last number is 87. The last number is 87. So our middle number is 79 and 85. Our last number is 87. So how we are going to write the ascending order? So the ascending order of the numbers 70, 87, 79, 85 is 70. That is the smallest number. Then we are having 79 smaller than 85. Then we are having 85 and then we have our largest number that is 87. So our ascending order is 70, 79, 85 and 87. Correct. Now for example, in the number 847, 478 and 874. Okay. The smallest number is 478. Which is the smallest number? 478. How we came to know this is the smallest number? Because 4 is a smallest number. Okay, then 8. 4 is a smallest number. So the smallest number is 478. And the biggest number is 874. So what is the remaining number? The remaining number 847 is the middle number. Okay. 874. The smallest number is 478. The biggest number is 874. And the remaining number 847 is the middle number. So, while writing in ascending order, how we are going to write? We are going to write first 478 in the beginning. Then our middle number that is 847. Then our biggest number that is 874. So from smallest to biggest 478, 847 and 874 from smallest to biggest. Now we have seen what is ascending order. Okay. What is now descending order? Now we will see what is descending order. We are going to learn what is descending order. Numbers are said to be in descending order when they are arranged from the largest to the smallest number. Numbers are said to be in descending order when they are arranged from the largest to the smallest number. Okay. When what is descending order? When the numbers are arranged from the largest, that is biggest to the smallest. Okay, when the numbers are arranged from the largest to the smallest number. When we arrange or count the numbers from largest to the smallest. When we arrange or count the numbers. When we arrange or count the number from largest to the smallest. In ascending what we saw from smallest to largest and in descending from largest to the smallest. They are said to be in a descending order. For example, when we count the numbers from 10, we are going to do backward counting from 10. 10 is a largest number. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How we are going to count? We put them as from 10 we are going to start. 10, 
bigger number then 9 then 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 in order to decide the descending order of any digit number okay in order to decide the descending order of any digit number you are going to first find the biggest number what you are going to find you are going to find first the biggest number then find the middle number and the remaining is the smallest number first what you are going to find the biggest number in ascending order first what we find we find smallest number okay but in descending order first we will find the biggest number then we will find the middle number and then the remaining is the smallest number for example in the numbers 847 478 and 874 the biggest number is 874 because 74 is bigger na so 874 the middle number will be 847 because 74 is bigger than 847 and the smallest number that is 478 478 is the smallest number because 4 is in the 100 place and 4 is the smallest number than 8 so the middle number is 847 and the smallest number is 478 so the descending order of the number 847 478 and 874 is 874 847 and 478 from biggest to smallest okay in descending order from biggest to smallest in ascending order from smallest to biggest now write the following numbers in ascending and descending order see the numbers the numbers are 55 63 40 and 80 first we are going to write the ascending order first we will begin with the smallest number which is the smallest number see the number yes think correct number 40 40 is the smallest number then which is the largest number of this all number 80 yes but 80 we are going to put it last what are our middle numbers now middle number is 55 and 63 here why we are going to put 55 after 40 and not 63 because 6 is bigger than 5. So we are going to start with 4, 5, 6 and 8. That is 40, 55, 63 and 80. Now the same number we are going to write in descending order. So how will we will write? First number that is our biggest number. Descending order we will begin with bigger number, largest number. Largest number is number 80. So first we are going to write 80, then 63, then 55 and the smallest number 40. How it goes? 8, 6, 5 and 4. 80, 63, 55 and 40. Now the next number. 69, 9, 59 and 70. Okay, 69, 9, 59 and 70. First we are going to write the ascending order. Now which is the smallest? We are going to begin with the smallest number in ascending order. Because ascending order means small to big. So the smallest number from these numbers are number 9. So we are going to write number 9 first. Then, then after 9, 59. Correct. After 59, 69. Yes. And after 69 comes... 70. So our ascending order will be 9, 59, 69 and 70. Now descending order of the same number. How we are going to write? We will begin with the largest number. Then which is our largest number? Correct. Number 70. So our descending order will be 70, 69, 59 and 9. That is 7, 6, 5 and 9. 70, 69, 
59 and 9. Now we are going to see ascending and descending order of four three digit numbers. Okay. We are going to learn about ascending and descending order of four three digits number. Now arranging following four numbers with different digits in the hundred place. How we are going to arrange this four numbers with different digits in the hundreds place. Let us see. What are our numbers? 321, 425, 178 and 524. Now let us see this. 321, 425, 178 and 524. Now the ascending order of the digits in the hundred places are see the numbers in the hundred place. What are they? In 321, the 100 place is 3. 425, the 100 place is 4. 178, the 100 place is 1. 524, the 100 place is 5. But in ascending order, we are going to start, we are going to begin with the smallest number. So, smallest number is 1. That is 178. Then the smallest number in the hundred place is 3. Then the smallest number is 4. Then 5. So 1, 3, 4, 5. The ascending order of the digits in the hundred places are 1, 3, 4, 5. So the ascending order 178, 321, 425 and 524. Okay, we'll start with the smallest number that is 178. Then we are going to write the middle number that is 321. Then 425 and the largest number 524. Now with the same number we are going to write the descending order. So from we will start from the largest number. Largest number is 524. Okay. Then after 524, 425, then 321 and 178. So the descending order is 524, 425, 321 and 178. Now arranging following four numbers with the same digit in the 100 places. Now see, you can see the numbers 568, 587, 597, 579. Now these four numbers are with the same digit in the hundred place that is 5. Okay. They are having the same digit in the hundred place that is 5. How we are going to arrange this? Let us see. Now here the hundred place digit is all the number is 5. Okay. 568, 587, 597, 579. So we will compare the digits in the tens place. What we are going to do? We are going to compare the digits in the tens place. Now see the tens place. What is the digit? Yes, 568. Number 6 is in the tens place. Number 8, then number 9 and then number 7. So the digits in the ten, tens place are 6, 8, 9 and 7 respectively. What are the numbers? 6, 8, 9 and 7. Therefore, the ascending order is 568, 579, 587 and 597. We are going to start with the smallest number. So that is 568, then 579, then 587 and then the largest number is 597. And the descending order is 597, 587. 579 and 568. Here we are going to start with the largest number that is 597, 587, 579 and 568. Similarly, if the digits in the hundreds and tens places are the same. So compare the digits in the units place of the given number. And decide the ascending and descending order. Now if the digits in the hundreds and tens places are the same. 
then you are going to compare the digits in the unit places of the given numbers and then you are going to decide the ascending and descending order. Now with this we finish our session of ascending and descending order. Here is an activity for you. Write the following numbers in ascending and descending order. What are the numbers? Numbers 55, 63, 40 and 80. This number you are going to write in ascending order and the same number you are going to write in descending order. Second number 69, 9, 59 and 70. This also same you are going to write in ascending order and descending order. Okay, till then do practice, keep learning. See you in the next session. Till then, bye. See you 